everybody. Happy Mother's Day. I'm sitting here talking because I clicked that live button and it wasn't even live. I'm just sitting there going around and out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sometimes I feel like when I hit, I, you know, like a chicken with this head chopped off and going around doing stuff and just like go from one thing to another to everything else. Hi, Rita, and hi, Nancy Drew, and thank you for coming. And hi, StreamYard. <laughs> StreamYard. What StreamYard? I had to check my phone to make sure I was live, and I was like, "Oh my goodness, that button!" Yeah. That's the button. But that's the way it was a good thing because the dishwasher was still going, and I'm sitting there talking like, you know, hopefully this thing will hurry up and stop washing and everything, and you know, because it was on the last cycle. And I'm like, oh my goodness, are they going to be able to hear me on top of the dishwasher? And I looked at my, check my phone to see if I'm live. And I'm like, well, that worked out. I wasn't live yet. And then the dishwasher hadn't started, stopped yet. <laughs> just go with it. That's all I can say. Just go with it. You know, sometimes you just, just go with it, you know. So happy Mother's Day to everybody out there who is a mom, who's an aunt. Even if you're not married and don't have kids, you are mothering some kind of way, shape, or form. And I know that's weird to say, but if you pour into people and everything, that's still a type of helping people out. Do you guys want to see one of one of my mother's Mother's Day presents? One of my a Mother's Day present I have for my mom. She's already seen it. I, I gave it to her Saturday. It's still downstairs. You guys want to see it? DJ! Do they want to see it? I'm quite sure they do. Okay, let me go get it. Let's see here. Get this pen. Now... You see, I really like pink. Hi, DJ. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Hi Melody. So, you see, I really like painting. And my father got a PC so he could play. Hey, okay, Gigi! Hello, Uncle Hi, Uncle DJ. Is that coming up on the panel? Uncle DJ! Uncle DJ! Uncle yeah. Amen. Oh, oh, <laughs> what? Is the other? Oh my goodness. It's all right. Um, How are you doing, Sasha? We're doing great. How are you, DJ? I'm good. Hi, DJ. Hey, Nancy. I want to share a little story. So my dad got a PC as an early Christmas gift. Great early Christmas gift. It's not yeah. even July yet. And he got a letter to put his PC on, but then he got a uh, but then he got another shelf to put his PC on. So he gave me the letter, and it turns out the letter was the letter M. M for mother. He said I could paint it, so I paint it for my mom for Mother's Day. Nice. Now it may just look blue or green, but this is actually the color. But this is actually the paint I made. I mix. I mix oh. the bunch. I mix the bunch of different colors together. And then I put it in the container. And I can use it whenever I want to. Nice. I want to just, just pull it out. Mom's already seen this gift, but she hasn't seen her other gifts. Uh, cool. And she made some stuff the other day while they were at work for Mother's Day. And then she took wrapping paper and wrapped them up. Nice. All right. I'm eating waffle fries. You're eating waffle fries? Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, mm. Nice. Uh. Earlier, I was eating a wilted fruit snack. 
cool. All righty. So we're going to do a couple things today. I have all this salmon. Ew. To use. So like one, two, three, four, five. So I'm not using all of them today, but I am going to make something with the salmon. And we'll see how that turns out. Uh, well, you I'm going to tell everybody about our sponsor. <laughs> okay. What do you think our sponsor is, Grandma? Is it Happy Heels? Nope. Is it Happy Heels today? No. no. Is it Lunchies? Nope. It's not. Today's sponsor is Chisels.com. Chisel those works with metal, iron, wood, and even with paint. You can place your order at that chisels.com or go to your nearest chisel store. Here's here, let me show you a little thing I got from Chisels. Hi Bert and hi Molly. Welcome to the channel. We're gonna be cooking something with salmon, canned salmon today, and I'm making cookies. Look. And then, um, oh, nice. I got this from Chisels. Mom and Dad got me from, got me this from Chisels. What's that? Oh, uh, looks like a chair. Yes, but what kind of chair? Look at the lock on the side. You unhatch the lock. Yeah. Open. Cool. Okay. Oh, this castle. And here's the chair. I pretend right. it's my little friend. That was a surprise when I showed him that I painted it. <laughs> I got it back. Uh, 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 I'm no. it back in the freezer. Right. Just a minute, Alfonso. You're, you're looking and ready to know for a spot, sir. Hello. Chisels also works with resin, so go ch so click the link to chisels.com. Uh -huh. hmm. All right. Hello, Nancy. Happy Monday. How are you doing? Hey, Alfonso. Hey. Hi. How are you? Yeah. I'm doing good. It's been raining all week up here. Okay, so most of y'all know I don't like fish. Mm -hmm. I don't like fish that much. So I have to really kind of like be in the mood to have fish or something or another. So click so, the link to chisels.com to get a free to get a free item of your choice along with the item you brought in store or online. So this is a challenge for myself to fix this salmon because is that what I wanted today? But I was just like, mm. I really need to use it up. I need to fix something with it to get myself eating more fish instead of just always chicken and turkey. Yep. You know, I have to have to, have to say this. I have phobia against seafood. Uh, so I'm gonna try and make it into like a, a casserole type thing, and then um, stick it in the little toaster oven and cook it. I don't have any mayonnaise, but I am going to use some mustard. I've got one can of the salmon. <laughs> she goes. Oh. <laughs> Back in 2008, I used to work for this company called Tresco. Um, I was in the rural night stock. I had a commissary, and they would take us to work every night. And in case we go on field trips, we go to restaurants, and stuff like that. And the supervisor that I had at that time, he allowed older kids to bully the new employees. Oh, my goodness. And what happened, one of the incidents, we went on a field trip to a seafood restaurant, and one kid... And he brought in a bag full of roaches, ants, uh, worms, and he dumped it on my plate. Oh my goodness. And ever since that, I now have phobia against seafood. 
Yeah, I know. My brother used to play horrible tricks on me when I was growing up about different foods and everything. But I get him back too. <laughs> nice. We had a lot of fun, but you know, he wanted a little brother and he got a little sister, so uh, <laughs> I had a couple. Of, you know, I we were always go in the backyard and throw the baseball, and I could throw. Well, back then I could throw curveballs and everything else, and he was shocked. And I was like, "He goes, how do you know that? I, said, I just watch baseball people on TV. That's how I know how to do it." <laughs> That's what I did. So I had oh. a couple of mushrooms. I had like a teaspoon and a half of mustard. And I got to use these mushrooms up. So we're going to put some mushrooms in here. That is why I'm afraid of seafood. I'm afraid of shrimp, basin, fish and shrimp and all that too. Yeah, well, here's the thing. When I was about, I would say seven or eight, somewhere around there. Our neighbors up the street, like two houses up, we were all good friends and everything. They had a boat and all. And they'd go fishing all the time in Chesapeake Bay. So they were always bringing back, I mean, like an um, igloo, the big ice um, igloo thing. The fish, because we would eat fish. Mm-hmm. And I had no problems until one day I got choked on a bone. And then ever since then, I never ate another fish unless it was like frozen fish sticks or something other. But it was just like ever since then, it was hard for me to eat fish. Now, we do eat shrimp once a week. And then even with that, I had to ask if they're cooking it or what they're doing. And, you know, they let me, my son and daughter in law let me know what they're cooking. I was like, good, because sometimes I just don't want it. <laughs> Yeah, of course. You got what? Fruit snacks. Fruit snacks. Mm-hmm. You can't put your mouth full. Uh-huh. You gonna talk with your mouth full? <laughs> I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Sure. Uh, yep. Yeah. So probably about a half a teaspoon of that. And you know what's funny? If you really knew what what our sauce was made out of. No, what? It's got anchovies in it. I did not know that. Distilled vinegar, water, molasses, sugar, salt, spices, citric acid, Anchovy, fish, celery seed, natural flavoring, contains soy, xanthan gum as a thickener, garlic powder, and T A M A R I N D, tamarind extract. So, one of the ingredients in Worcestershire sauce is anchovies. Ah. Hey. <laughs> I got a strawberry fruit snack. No. I got raspberry fruit back. Yeah, raspberry fruit snack. Mm-hmm. Looks like they light up. What? Looks like they light up. Do they light up? That's what he said. See, it looks like they light up. Oh. I got, I got a grapefruit snack. Cool. So add a pinch of salt. We'll add probably about like a teaspoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of garlic powder. I got peach fruit snack. Hello. Oh, nice. mm. I mean, the yeah, peach. peach one? Yeah, the peach ones are one of my favorites. Okay. I had to play the um the um the peach and the orange ones are my favorite. No. Oh. All right. And that was like a 
a half of quite a teaspoon of chives. Cool. We're for the Guana Fields for Wednesday, but it got canceled. You did? We were going to go out to the farm on our field trip, but I got canceled because of the rain and hailstorm and tornado warnings here. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Yeah. Yeah, they've been some bad tornadoes the last few days. We we're right at the edge of the Great Plains in Colorado. Between mm -hmm. the Rockies and the Great Plains, we're at the front range, like right at the edge. Mm -hmm. And one egg. Yeah, I was really looking forward for that field trip because we were going to the farm. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah MT Homestead, um, Mike, he went out there showing what happened once they had, he knows it was bad. He said, you know, he goes, that lasted for quite some time. <coughs> God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. He said, they didn't have much damage. He goes, but Terry went to the storm shelter, the safe room. He goes, what are you doing in there? She goes, you can stay out there, not me. She goes, uh-uh. Yeah. I don't like That's right, everybody. Click on the link. Click on the link to chisels.com. All right. So, on. Got to put my banner up there. Put stuff in the chat and it'll drop your link. Then Thursday, I couldn't go to work. I had my annual eye exam. Uh-huh. Which I had to, had to take a day off, unfortunately, because, you know, every time I go for my annual eye exam, they dilate my eyes. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Maritza. So, what I did, I made it into a castle. This is a salmon castle. And um, it was one can of salmon. Then I added a teaspoon and a half of mustard. Then I added like a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Then I added um, a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, a dash of salt. Probably like maybe a half a tablespoon of chives, and then add one egg. And what you could do, if you like want a crust on it, and if you don't have no bread, you can take Ritz crackers and crumble it on the top, and that can be your crust. I'm um, going to stick this in the toaster oven for like 30 minutes. Would you, would you mind if I did, if I entertained everybody with a Ritz Ratter contest? Yes, you can do that for right now, because i got to get some things together. Okay. Question number one: Would you on Halloween would you rather go to to one hundred houses but only get one piece of candy from each house, or only go to one house but get uh, but get almost all but get a lot of candy because the half oh because the, the candy because of okay hang on let me start over again. Would you rather go? Oh, to 100 houses, but get only one piece of candy from each house, or go to one house, but it's the lair of the candy dragon, and get a whole bunch of candy. Mm. I'll go to one house. Yeah, I would probably <laughs> go to one house. Yeah. You, you would like to see the candy, the candy breathing dragon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. It it'd be cool to meet him. Yeah, it would. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool to meet who? The candy dragon. The candy dragon. Yeah, his name's Todd. His name was Todd. Where'd you meet him at? Unicorn book. Oh, in your unicorn book. Okay. That makes uh, sense. Uh, <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, next, would you rather, would you rather see, would you rather see your unicorn in a giant, uh, would you rather see your unicorn friend in a giant box for Christmas or wrapped up in ribbons and wrapping paper for Christmas? Uh, 
after Christmas? Ribbons and red and purple. Okay. Now, would you rather save save all save the pumpkin pie so Thanksgiving can't end, or save one present and wrap so Christmas can't end? Save a present. Save a present. How about yeah. you all? Save the presents. Okay. Although pumpkin pie sounds really Actually, there's good one part right of the now. world that's Christmas all year round. Yeah. I. So. Uh, there's one part Would of the you world. rather for your birthday go, go stay at home, home with friends or go to somewhere and really fun with your family? Go well, so. Go somewhere fun with my family. That's what that's what my family and we did for last. That's what we did for my birthday last year. We my, went to my first my, time at Rainbow Lodge. Go somewhere fun. Go. Cool. Yeah, my first time at um, Rainbow Lodge. It was fun. There was a kids' hot tub in there. I only wish that the hot tub was a little bit warmer. Uh, yeah. Um, the, hey, that the adults the hot tub was extremely hot. They should, They said that they were shy. They should, They snuck me in there. Uh. Oh, would you rather spend? Would you rather spend your time? If you were Cammy West, would you rather, um, if you were Cappy, would you rather sleep in a tent or a trailer? A trailer. A trailer. Where I'm at. Like, if I'm at Walmart, where I have all the Christmas tree, I would have a tent. That sounds like fun. So, for your birthday, would you rather have cupcakes or cake? Cake. Okay. Cake. Would you rather have a house made of Legos or a house made of chocolate? Made of Legos. Legos. Because <laughs> if, if I had a house made of chocolate, I would <laughs> eat it oh, yeah. all. Yeah. You know, they're not going to be able to see you in that chair. Yes, they, will. they will. They'll see you little he- see your head. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? You I'm doing... standing in my chair. I'm standing in the Minnie Mouse chair. Ah, uh, nice. So these are, this is one of the books that I got from um, thriftbooks.com. Cool. And it's, called Monster Cookies, but I'm changing it up. But here's the recipe. It's one cup of peanut butter, a half a cup of butter softened, one and a fourth cups of packed brown sugar, one cup of sugar, three eggs, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, four cups of quick cooking oats, one cup of M&Ms, one cup of butterscotch chips, one cup of salted peanuts, and two cups of all-purpose flour. So since we cannot have regular M and M's, um, that's and the butterscotch chips, um, I'm not putting that in. So yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm putting in. I've got the peanut butter. No, but I have some pistachios that um, we have. And I'm gonna add those instead of the M and M. Okay. So would you rather put uh, um? Sour pad. Um, would you rather put sweet tart rope, oats, and Twizzlers in the same bowl, or M and M's and Skittles in the same bowl? M and M's. Um, sweet tart rope and Twizzlers. I didn't even tap it. Oh, okay. Hi, um, Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Hi. 
Hey, Rebecca. Hi. 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 I'm not touching it. I, okay. I got to gotta start this. So I've got the sugars and the peanut butter right here in the bowl. Nice. Get together real quick. How are you doing, Rebecca? I'm doing great. Rebecca? I've waited till Hi, today. My, my brother gave me this Mother's Day card. <gasps> awesome. Oh, nice. I haven't opened it yet. That's mm. nice of all to do that. Yeah, it sure was. That is awesome. <sighs> Mother's Day, Rebecca, and all the mothers out there again. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Your mom and um, DJ and Alfonso. Yeah. Family. Yeah. My mom yeah, uh, that's wait. Happy Mother's Day. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's nice, Rebecca. It says, I wish for you. Thinking of the many joys that you deserve today and sending many wishes for those joys to come your way. Happy Mother's Day. Cool. Awesome. Oh wow! Nice. I need to. I need to get him to sign this. <laughs> uh, yeah. He didn't, he didn't even sign it. <laughs> uh, no. But hey, that was nice that he got it for you. <laughs> Definitely, and it's my, literally my first Mother's Day card from him. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hey, nice. That not, is nice. not a not a lot of people know, but I, I am. Been looking, bagel, been looking for a bagel crate where I can fit in. A big oh, yes. crate. So, so what, what, what were you saying, Rebecca? I I was saying not a lot of people know that I'm a birth mother of two boys. Usually, don't talk about it. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Nancy. Yeah. Oh, what is she making with that peanut butter? Cookies. Cookies. <laughs> yes. Because I had I had yeah. muted you guys. I I had muted you guys while I was doing all the things that I do to have the live chat up and yeah I did hear how long would it take for me to get to you by mail Nancy Sorry. yes we got your mail um it's over there on the desk I was trying to find the mail and I was like oh my goodness we'll have to do it we'll get it in a minute but uh, now how long would it take for me to get to you if I ship myself by mail no, they wouldn't ship you. One more yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would take forever. Was up in the big old crate. Uh, how long would it take? Like, the big crate. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so Anastasia just gave me my Mother's Day gift. I have a card. Oh. It says Nina on it. Okay. And it says, "Hi, I love you," and it has a little. Um, Oh, baby girl. You're not supposed to pull it off. Okay, bye, guys. That's sweet. Uh, and that is so sweet. Uh, that's sweet, uh, and that's uh, nice. All right. And then she wrapped up a, well, what is some yarn. Uh, <laughs> And then she got me something else. Okay. That's okay. We can get mm. it. You know how sometimes kids use, kids give candy on special holidays? Right. I figured. Oops. I gave. Hang on. <laughs> uh, wrong one. She's going to go change it. So, uh, our burst. Uh, nice. Mm. All right. 
Because I do have mail. I have mail from Rita. I have mail from. Give me where's the paper? Where's the it's rest? All over there. It's on the table. I have mail from Garden State Gardener, and I've got mail from Alfonso. And I'm just like, I'll be, I'll sit it somewhere, and then I forget. And then as I'm cleaning up, straight up stuff, I was like, there's mail. I need to sit there and do a mail call. Yeah. <laughs> no. I know other people have covered it, but have okay, you have yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sorry. Okay. So Nancy, so if I ship myself out to you on the big old gray water, my chances of surviving or would I get taken by a porch pirate? <laughs> you won't get taken by porch pirates, not around here. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, but we got so many porch pirates in the Denver metro area. <sighs> They have the highest amount of pork pirates here. Oh. Purple Starburst. It's not a Starburst. Oh, um, now later. There we go. It's a now and later. It's a now and later. Awesome. I, I didn't I didn't want to interrupt anybody while they were talking, so I said hi to some people in the chat. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Michael. Yeah, hey J J Glen Sweet John. Yeah, but I gave Grandma the wrong candy. I missed yes, uh, Randy, I missed you get to you get you get to celebrate Father's Day next month. Yep. Yeah. Did, awesome. Father's Day. Is, did you know my mother's birthday is um the thirteenth of June, Friday the thirteenth? No, it's not. A, she was born on a Friday, but the thirteenth is not on a Friday this year. Yeah, but she was born on Friday the 13th. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let me beat these eggs. I mean, that's a fun fact. <laughs> I, I knew that I knew that someone that was born on Father's Day. Oh, really? Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Three, two, oh, come on. There it goes. I said I didn't want to hurt anybody's ears. Huh. I muted it. Uh, <laughs> it's not that loud. <laughs> No, you're good. It's gonna be a thick cookie. Do you, do you think I don't have a one of those blend, you know, blender things or mixer things? Do you think you can, with a whisk, beat a cake good enough? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Because I really don't want to get out my big um, KitchenAid mixer because yeah. it, it's a, a six quart bowl. All mm -hmm. right. And use that. So I was hoping that I could use just a, a whisk. To whisk now, I'm lucky I can see it. But over there up in the corner is mixer, a stand mixer. Yeah. You see it's over there and I'm not using it. It's just. I. I usually like, put it out, yeah. put it over yeah. here. Yeah, that's too much. Too much. Right, I kind of fight, felt like that. Hey, I've got the uh, really heavy whisks that I could use. Yep. I have a bread machine that needs a new insert to it. I don't feel like paying $60 for the new insert. You can pay $60 and just put it somewhere else and still do my bread by hand and stick it in my Ninja but my Ninja Foodie, let it rise in there and bake it in that. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Any teaspoons of baking soda? Anastasia? Yeah. Do you want to see one of the hats that I'm taking to the meetup in Oklahoma? Yeah. Ooh. I finished one of the men's hats. I've got nine more to make. Whoa. Hmm. What do you think of that, DJ? Yeah, that was good, Rebecca. You crochet? Or? No, it's it's called round loom knitting. Oh, my mom See? actually has a uh, my mom actually has a mechanical loom. You put the yarn and then you crank it. Make sure you just the knits by hand. I've, I've seen one of those. I've never used one yet. Hmm. She made two hats and it didn't work out. So she said, forget it. <laughs> yes, uh, they did. Well, they're longer than what she wanted them to be. But that's fine. She likes them. She, no, she thinks it's great. Well, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing with that style, you're not going to have the the band. Hang on, hang on, I want to see something. But, but use that one in there. Use hang on, just one. All right, so you've got a fourth of a cup there. How many, how many one-fourth cups do you need to make a cup of... Um, four? That's right, you need four one-fourth cups to make a cup. Well, I'm going to drop down now. I've got to, got stuff to take care of. All right, All right. Thank you for coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, maybe. Three. We need one more. And we need one more. I just want to see something. Well, that's good. Hi, Don. Hi, Jay and Jay. No, you don't need one. Jonathan? I'm seeing if it's true. She took, she had that fourth a cup, and there's a one cup measuring cup in the flour. She goes, she wanted to see if it was true. She took and measured, and it was like, yeah, four, one fourth cups make a cup of flour. Uh, yeah. Or two halves. <laughs> two half cups. Yeah. Right. Two half cups right. make one full Oh, yeah. See, that's the math. Oh, sorry, DJ. Hey, Rebecca, do you know where our sponsor is? No. Our sponsor is chisels.com. Oh, okay. <laughs> the link to chisels is in the chat. Click on it. Please don't click on it. Click on it. I won't click on it. Click on it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Click on it. All right. So I might see flour just kind of fly everywhere. Is there anybody that sifts their flour anymore? Do I? Is there anybody that sifts their flour anymore? Yes, my son does. I should, but I I, 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 I still do. I still do. Huh. I need to do it. My, I, I gave Grandma the orange now and later. The orange now and later is for Mom. Hey, nice. Cut her orange. <laughs> I'm not going to put the oats in here because this stuff is sticking up as it is. But yeah. I am going to put some cashews in there. Oh, yes. Except for biscuits, yes. Yes. Mm 
I wish I had paid better attention to my grandmother. When she uh -huh. made her when she made her chicken and dumplings, she would um, roll out. I guess it's like biscuit dough, uh, but it really wasn't hey, like mom, a, it didn't look like biscuit dough. Uh -huh. And she'd flatten it out, and then she'd take a knife and cut it, and then cut it in these little square pieces. In with her chicken broth, in with her chicken broth and stuff, and her chicken. <laughs> I know she put salt and pepper in there, but I, I guess she just kind of looked at it and knew how much she needed. And... Oh, yeah. I love chicken and dumplings. I do, too. <laughs> like My son doesn't like that, that regular noodle, so we make ours with Bisquick. Um, we make biscuits and then put it on top and put it in the oven and bake it. I think I have a video on it. Cool. Oh, that is that is sweet. She was, um, Dawn said she sat on the counter. Yeah. Yeah. Biscuits and, biscuits and gravy and. Uh, I actually had biscuits and gravy for breakfast today. So, yeah, that was good. That sounds good. Yeah. So I'm just making them into... Uh, just rolling it into balls and we'll stick them in do, you, do you press them down with the fork? Yeah, I'll press some of them down with the fork just to see how it turns out. Hmm. Uh, it's almost time for the pull out the salmon. <laughs> I had not made for salmon today, but oh well. So, oh, can I tell them something about the unicorn books? Yes, you may. So, in the second book, Marigold has a crunch on a unicorn named Dolores Spitted Humility. He hides in bushes, trash cans. Um, but if you can hide him, hide him. He wants to be humble. He doesn't like showing himself. My my favorite, uh, Jonathan, my favorite cookies are oatmeal raisin. One, two. I oh, also yeah. like peanut butter, peanut butter cookies, too. But. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Hi, Gary. Good to see you here. Hey, Gary. Stop that loop. Yeah. Hey, Gary. What drugs here? So, and Marigold had a crush on him, so she asked him to be his Valentine's. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and he said no, because he had to stay away from all who admired him. One book later, Florence, I am dating my Ooh. boyfriend, Lord Spended Humility. Yeah. Marigold, you are dating Lord Spended Humility. So he couldn't be Marigold's Valentine's, but he can be he, the boyfriend of her sister. Well, that's why he couldn't be her Valentine, because he's already with somebody. Yeah. So he's... Belt loops just chill until he's got to go back to work. Oh, okay. uh, my daddy love me and my daddy. All right, love. cool. Gary, is he going live today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary, are you going live today? 
Me and my daddy love doing that. You do. Alright, let's see how long the hay have to be in. He said at yeah. noon. Oh, yes, he is. Okay. Yeah, at noon, which is at one o'clock full of noon. Yeah. <laughs> Here's where you're I will. Nope. I, I will definitely be there, Jerry. <laughs> yes, yes. Yesterday, we got this from a a church. Oh wow! And um, I made some, but I didn't use hamburger. Oh, what'd you use? Uh, venison. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm. Venison? Venison. Do you know what venison is, Anastasia? Um, like a rabbit meat? No. What? Deer. Deer. Close. I was close. Yeah, you were close. Actually, this turned out really. If I can just get over the smell of fish, I'll pick up the right. <laughs> but it turned out really well. Here's my salmon. It looks like a casserole. I, it is a casserole. I, I, I didn't even think of doing the salmon in the cans that way. I, I always thought about just doing croquettes, you know, the, the patties. I, I'm going to put some cheese on there and I'll stick it under the broiler and then let that melt. Because it's like, oh, you do? I do too. <laughs> I, my favorite my favorite part is the, the tender ones. I love deer meat, but I can't have it anymore. Uh, um, it's kind of, that's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. I, I know it is. I do, I do. I do really. I really like it. We cook it like a roast. Me and Phoebe are the same. We get new school supplies when summer ends, but then, but then at, but then at the end, but in the middle of the school year, here they're gonna be all. See, we get new cool stuff like a cool new notebook, cool pencil, and a nice pencil case. And then in the middle of the year, they're just going to be boring and ordinary. And at the end of the year, they're going to be all used up and gross. Why can't anything just stay awesome? Well, you're supposed to use it up. That's the whole purpose of having school supplies is to use yeah. it up. Yeah, but why can't anything just stay awesome? Well, it is awesome. I want to go back home and play video games with my uniform. <laughs> so, I let that cheese melt and everything, and uh, they said 15 to 18 minutes for the cookies. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, well, I'll, well, I'll stay on until the first batch is done, and then, um, you know, I'll show y'all what it looks like. I'm kind of excited because this is something new I haven't done. As far as making cookies, I've got my regular cookie recipe, but it called for a cup of butter, and I'm just like, well, I don't want to use all the butter right now. So this one was a half a cup of butter, so I was like, that'd be a lot better. I just used a half a cup of butter mm. and everything. But they have, oh my goodness, especially, let me see if I can find the, it doesn't show it on here. Let me find called pinwheels oh my goodness my aunt used to make these and it's like cookies that we have i haven't seen in years you know especially when they only make it at christmas time yeah thanksgiving and christmas i was like oh my goodness yeah now i will say i never had pinwheel cookies I don't think I have pinwheels is what we call something else 
that we make. So, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's making me hungry for baking cookies. <laughs> yeah. so I was just thinking about, I put those those tubes of uh, cookie dough. It's uh, in the freezer. You know, mm -hmm. we've got them. I got them about two months ago from the pantry. And yeah. I'm thinking very seriously of cutting those and putting them in my, my oven and taking them to the meetup because I really don't like sugar cookies. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing, Gigi? Gigi's on the desk. <laughs> uh, yeah. Her tail's about to be. What are you doing, girl? Come here. <laughs> uh. I know what she's telling me. She says, you didn't put any food in my bowl. <laughs> so here's the chocolate pinwheels. Those are those. Cool. I'm gonna uh -huh. turn off my I'm gonna turn off my camera and go feed the kitty. Okay. Uh yeah. and what I like about this book it has pictures. And I have one book that it has some pictures but it doesn't have a lot of pictures. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I, was like, I was looking through this last night and I was like, Oh, I'm gonna make this and we're gonna make this. Mm. All right, let me see if I can find out the picture. <laughs> and they have in here how to make whippy pies, and I was like, oh my goodness. Mm, that sounds good. <laughs> oh, yeah, homemade whippy pies. I just yeah. got to brush you less the filling part. Oh my. Okay, I got her fed. Uh, thanks, Kelly. Um, is you Jeff, wore that. Well, Rebecca, you wore that shirt before, and I love it. It's yeah, so yeah. It's so wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I have to show you all this picture. They called angel wings. This one's made with different color um ones. That's oh. not the picture I want, but I was like, oh my goodness. Oh. And, and she had filled with some kind of pecan pecan. I um, filling. Me up in so is yeah. it pecan or pecan? Well, here in Missouri they say pecan. We say pecan. Pecan too. <laughs> Depends I mean, on where you're at. I I probably would call it pecan, but whatever. <laughs> That's like, yeah. <laughs> kind of like that tomato no, to me. thing. Hmm. I mean, I'm willing to switch between. Pecan, pecan, um, big deal. Exactly. Oh, and they have a recipe in here for one of my favorite cookies is pecan sandies. Oh, my goodness. So we can't have the Nestle ones because they got milk in it. But, um, uh, yeah. Huh. So I was like, oh, to make my own, that'd be fun. Now we have done our own chocolate, but you know, chocolate chips have gone up and everything else, you know, dairy free stuff. Oh, yeah, I did it. No. <laughs> yes, I can use the almond milk to make that. Yeah. There, was, there was one time we didn't have any uh, regular milk, mm -hmm. and I needed to make, mom wanted some biscuits and gravy. I made it with coconut milk. 
fun. It was it was very interesting because it it wasn't creamy. It was like thick. It it was really weird. So yeah. I've got, I got to do a little more experimenting and even made our uh, called SOS. Yeah, I yeah. Did, we always did cream peas and tuna. Uh, it was it was sweet. It was so different. You know the texture of it. You know, and, and learning to, to cook different ways and, and things like that. It was it's very interesting. All right. The cheese melted a little bit more. But there you go. That's the melted cheese on top of the salmon casserole. And I'm going nice. to let this go a little bit before I take a bite. <laughs> cool. Uh, Yeah, um, my SD card has messed up again, so that's why I've been delayed on doing videos. But I noticed you can do a video through StreamYard, yeah, it's to your computer, and you can upload it. I can do that, but I won't have all nice little fun doodads from editing <laughs> in the video. Whoa. I mean, you, you, uh, well, let me ask you this. Do you edit on your computer? I do with my phone. I have you cut on my phone. Okay, okay. So I have to find one that I can put on the computer. Okay, I do, I do know, I, that's why I asked. Well, thank you for asking, DJ. I appreciate that. Wow, that's that's interesting. I didn't even know you can make caramel or caramel out okay. of sweetened okay. condensed milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who wants to be entertained? They all do. <laughs> yeah, we we all do entertain us. So, hmm. carrying on with the would you rather. So, I'm gonna, so, this is gonna be DJ's question. Would you rather, would you rather be able to make all the Oreos you, you like or all, all the lollipops you like? This is DJ's question. I would. I would rather make all the Oreos I like. Oreos. Upstairs, my daddy has s'mores Oreos. I get one like maybe once a day, but they're really good. The um, instead of just mean the normal chocolate cookie, mm -hmm. the cookies on the outside are taste like. Are brown and taste like graham crackers, and the inside mm. has the marshmallow and the chocolate. Nice. John's got to run. Oh. I said, bye, John. Hang, hang on, Rebecca. Just I have a question. I have a would you rather question for you. Okay. Would you rather? Would you rather be? Would you rather wear fluffy socks to bed tonight or regular socks to bed tonight? Fluffy. Fluffy? Okay, you have to wear fluffy socks to bed tonight. Good night. The bad thing is, is that I always kick them off in the night. Oh, yeah, me yeah. too. They're always yeah. off of my feet when I wake up. I I probably don't wear socks. I don't. I don't either. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, this one time I this one time I forgot I was still wearing my daytime dress before bed. I woke up in the middle. I woke up in the middle of the night with my 
with my dress on. So I took it off and put it on my nightgown. Uh, uh, you must be really tired to go to sleep with your clothes. Uh, yeah, I know what that uh, is. I'm showing the address. DJ, did you send me something? You remember you won something in my giveaway? What? Remember the giveaway I did about a month ago? Yeah, on his um CP yeah. channel. Yeah, I I'm, I have to apologize, to people. I need to have stuff. I need to get out in the mail too. Yeah, yeah, and then she let me tell you, getting mail out is not my top priority. <laughs> Every Friday here lately seems like I'm in the hospital for a test or going to the doctor. So it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah. You only sent me one sticker. Ooh! Uh, magic. Uh, magic trick. Yeah, magic you won two circles. Oh. You guys want to see a magic trick? Yeah. One, two. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Rebecca, look, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a magic trick. One, two. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. One sticker. Two stickers. Yeah. yeah. I went to the dad with mints. Upstairs, my daddy also has Bob Ross little happy tree mints. There are tiny little teal mints that look like trees. Like, you know how Bob Ross make little happy trees? Yeah. With yeah. They're yeah. shaped like those teal trees. They're so tiny. They're about this and they're about this tall. Uh, no. That's how tall they are. But they're really detailed. Mm -hmm. they're yeah. So, they're kind of a little bit flavorless. They, you don't really get a flavor from them. Oh, uh, good. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I want to say something funny. This one time, me and Daddy were playing fine, and he said, you want an uncle sandwich? And I said, hang on. I went downstairs, came back up with bread and peanut butter. <laughs> the peanut butter, butter oh. and oh, yeah. And then I the never, bread I... was next. <laughs> so I came back up with here. I came back up with peanut butter and mm. and the Jesse and bread. Yeah. It was funny. Uh, nice. Here is my salmon casserole. Ooh. Oh, cool. Yep. I gotta get up with this. So now I can eat it. Mm. Hmm. Not bad at all. Tastes very good. Nice. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Hi, yeah, peaceful dad. Happy Mother's Day. Hi, Dad. Happy Mother's Day. Hmm. It's really not that bad. It tastes pretty good. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Dad. Happy Mother's Day, Dad. Yes. So, I typed on the cookie. Says so 15 minutes, and they're still really soft. So, I let a few more minutes put them in there for a few more minutes. So we can see what they look like. But um, yeah, um, with the salmon, if you probably like, put it on like, um, I mean, you could put it on crackers. You could put it on um, if you make 
like French toast, a French bread. Mm -hmm. Put it on that. Oh, let's see here. What else? Um, I, oh, you can even put it on rice. Make some rice and just put that on top. That'd be pretty good, too. I don't nice. think work. <laughs> Not the noodles. All right. So did you open up your... um? No, Alfonso, uh, here, come here. You've got another one. Another one. This is from Alfonso. So I had... All right. Thank you, thank you, Alfonso, for the for the blank piece of paper. Uh, <laughs> you're funny. It was not a blank piece of paper. Aww. What did he make? Uh, so I have to go, guys. I'm talking to you later. All right, DJ. Okay, DJ. See, see you later, DJ. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute the little kitty is. Oh, that is cute. Uh huh. All right. So watch out. I think it's a sticker, but I'm not going to unpeel it. Here are the cookies. Cookies. Oh. Believe me, they smell so good. Oh my goodness. That was adorable. Oh, that smells good. Oh, oh. Hi, Tiffany. So I gotta let them cool before I can add another batch. But that, oh my goodness, they look and smell delicious. So, my other mail call is Miss Rita Roost. Yeah. She yeah. is such a sweet lady. Oh my goodness. We love, everybody loves Rita. She is such a, I love Rita. Yeah, she. That's just me. I heard. Yeah. We have so much fun. <laughs> no. She sent me as a paper, as a pattern to make that quilt that she's been working on. Oh, I thought it was a pattern. Oh wow. So she I, sent me a I copy of the pattern. And then what did else did she send? Let's see. This is for you. This one says, hope you make a beautiful quilt, Rita. And then this one says, boss. <laughs> a boss. Rita's Roost. Subscribe. Right. Subscribe to Rita's Roost. Yeah, I think, I think Rebecca's coffee. searching up Rita's Roost. I'm trying to see I, if I get... Yes, I. Ooh. <laughs> so good. Grandma, you still have one more mail call. What would you want to say, Rebecca? I just went, ooh. <laughs> you have one more mail call. Okay, one more mail call. Uh -uh, she's giving me my card again. Says Nana. So it has a heart. It says hi. It says I love you. And then underneath the... Sticking out is a drawing of her and me. This is my Mother's Day card. <laughs> she got me some yarn. One of your favorite patterns. And then a noun later. A purple noun later. Because grape. I like grape. Right. This, I don't know. this one open like this. And this is from Garden State Gardener. Garden State Gardener. Is it possible can it open? Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. And this was a couple weeks ago. I always want to get yarn on his channel. I've gotten the um, origami um, Star Wars. And then I won seeds this time. I got, oh, I got C's again. Hey, that's a passport. It is. And a Michael's gift card. A Michael's gift card. I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh, I love Michael's. 
That's a ten dollar gift card to Michael's. I was surprised I won that. I was like, oh, you got, so I, I got from somebody that I made him a scarf, a twenty dollar gift card, e card, to uh -huh. Michael's. Do you like yours chewy or crunchy? Both. But here lately, I like them chewy because my tooth back here. <laughs> now, this smaller, I had my teeth filled when I was like eight, nine years old because the dental school in Virginia is free. And, of course, they have to have so many stuff done so they can graduate to be a dentist. And... um Oh my goodness, that's like 20 years ago. I bit down and this back tooth cracked. But I was where I had insurance that I went to the dentist. I said, take all the molars out. And he goes, oh no, you got room up top and at bottom. I'm like, no, I don't. They don't push my you know, teeth. He only took this molar out. Because he left this molar in, whatever I bit on or whatever broke the um, molar beside the wisdom tooth. A couple of years ago, I decided it was just, so I always ate on my right side. So I was like, let me try eating on my left side to see what happens. And sure enough, that tooth just came out. Half of it came out. It had been broke for years. So I was just like, okay, well, you know, whatever you want to do. So I was like, I would just rather eat soft food now. Crunchy, I don't mind something crunchy, but. Yeah, soft food is better. Certainly is. Mm, this is so good. Hmm. All right. Definitely with the pistachios, because pistachios are kind of like a hard nut. That made it really soft. That's perfect. Oh. oh my goodness. So yeah, I will definitely post this uh because I like I'll post uh it's supposed to be posting a recipe of the other one I did and I haven't gotten to it. But I will definitely post this recipe. Now I did delete the I didn't put the four cups of oatmeal oats in it because it was just like it really made it thick so what i like you can add delete and this had um like m m's was in it and regular peanuts and we still haven't found a dairy free m m type candies yet so that's what we're still been looking for. And um, so I was like, well, they'll come out with it soon enough because they started doing, um, I know Myers came out with a dairy free cinnamon roll and biscuits and so did Pillsbury. And that was during the last few years. I was like, that's cool. I'm glad they did. But well, we do have a dairy-free recipe for cinnamon rolls. That's, those are old, old videos. Those are way in the beginning. When I, we first started the channel. In November of this year, we be doing, I will, Anastasia and I will have been on YouTube doing videos for five years. I was like, man, if she was so little. It's like I said, one way I can find, you know, go back and look and see how much she's grown, how tall she's gotten over the years. Yeah, I bet she has. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, because when we first started, she was like only up to my hips, to my waist, like up to here. And then now she's like, oh, to my nose. Oh. 
Yeah, do, you um, think, do you think so she'll get taller than you? Oh, yeah, definitely. She's going to be as tall as her daddy. Her dad is tall. She'll probably end up around about almost six foot at least. She'll probably be like five eight, five nine. Mom, five two. Jonathan, I use a hunt peck method on typing. <laughs> hey, I was doing that when I had my surgery, so it's okay. <laughs> Jonathan is not. He says it's the miracle grow that they put in the water now. <laughs> Back in the 90s, that's what we used to say because it seemed like everybody we knew was getting pregnant. And then we kept saying that something in the water, they put more. Do you want to have your candy now? Not yet, honey. Okay. All right, so the last batch of cookies is going in. You're going to eat this, this thing. You're going to eat this thing. They, 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 tri they tried to te teach me typing when I was in Job Corps, and I just I couldn't get it. Yeah. I, can't I just couldn't get it. They're trying to teach them how to type now in school. And I'm like, oh my goodness, and I'll stop pushing stuff so fast. Can I have the rest of the dough that's in the bowl? There ain't nothing left in the bowl, okay? Is there, <laughs> there is. Typos. You found some stuff up in the bowl. You can have it. I want you to just try it. Okay. Yeah, cookie dough is good also. <laughs> they say if it has eggs, you should not eat it. I know, but we always did growing up. Uh, Never got sick or nothing. Nope. Because then I was sitting there thinking about raw eggs. I'm like, then why do you build... Bodybuilders eat raw eggs. You saw that. Well, well, it isn't um, eggnog made out yeah. of raw eggs. Yes. <laughs> Snake for a thrill. So many, I'm telling you, yeah, uh, on the Rocky, you know. That's the one still out of me. If you watch the Rockies, maybe, you know, they're drinking raw, you know, raw eggs to build up the body. And everything. So it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, that was supposed the best part. I always made my sister uh, made a cake because I could lick the bowl. And I remember my grandmother saying, that's got a whole egg in it. I'm like, well, so does this, this, and this. And they were like, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so. When, when you get eggs from the store, do you do the float test to check them to make sure that they're good? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But I have done the float test because I've opened one and it was not good. I was like, well, the next few ones, but I make sure. Well, I tried that once. It was like, swallow it's not. I'll pass. You got that right. Oh, no, I can't. I don't know. I need a egg. <laughs> Oh, thank you. No, I'm not this girl. <laughs> I, was like, mm. I know when I was like 18, I at one time I got to the point I couldn't eat an egg because someone told me it was a chicken. And I was just like, don't tell me that. And then like for six months, I could not eat eggs. I was like, oh my goodness. But now I understand what's going on with that. So I was like, mm -hmm. well, if, if it's never, if that chicken is never near a um a rooster it's never going to develop exactly you know oh yeah definitely so but it's almost time for gary's it sure that doesn't mean we have to end
Well, I am going to end so people can go see Gary's. Well, so you guys can go over there. So you guys could go over there and see Gary. Yeah, we need to go over there and support Gary too. Okay. All right. So I'm going to say a prayer before we leave. I'm going to stop doing my work on my. It's okay. You ready? <laughs> Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the wonderful mothers that have come in the chat and those who will watch the replay and those all over the world today. And those who have gone before us, we thank you for the blessings that they've given to us. We bless all everybody today and the mothers today, dear Lord, that they be known as they are highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed. And as we go throughout this week, may you show your love and mercy to each and every one of us and that we have the blessings of Father Abraham everywhere we go because we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. And thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It's either way. It's okay either way. <laughs> I know you're not hurting nobody. Gary, you were doing one o'clock way before I was starting at noon. I had switched because my son Wait, and daughter Gary has two channels? Yes. He's got several channels. He's got five, he's got I two. think. I think he's got five. I don't know how he keeps five. up. I don't know how he keeps up with them. I don't either. <laughs> I have one. That's it. Yeah, me too. One. Yes, he does have he does have five. That was yeah. right. And hers. I'm like, we need to work on getting hers up and you no know, more stuff. You know. So all right everybody. Well thank y'all for coming. Y'all go check out Gary. I don't know if he's doing using belt loop 29 today or YouTube police. Either way, go check him out. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> y'all have a wonderful day. God bless. Stay safe. We love y'all. There's a song in Animal Crossing that you can put on your um on your cute music on your music player. It's mm-hmm. my favorite song because this one time Flo to my house and she was singing this song like <laughs> It's all a video game. <laughs> it was so cute. Aww. I couldn't stop it. I couldn't make her leave. It was so cute. Oh, awesome. All right. So we'll see y'all later. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Yeah, but you can stop that. <laughs>